Everybody knows the Michigan Republican Party is badly divided along conservative and more moderate political lines. Well, move over, Republicans. You've got company. Michigan Democrats now have an internal disagreement of their own to grapple with. Shortly after current U.S. Senator Debbie Stabenow shocked this town by announcing her retirement next year, the contest in the Democratic primary to replace her has been heating up. And the popular wisdom is, in town, that well-financed congressional woman Alyssa Slotkin is the front runner. But increasingly, some African-American Democrats object to what they argue is the preordained decision by others to anoint Ms. Slotkin over everybody else, including this Detroit Democrat who's running for the U.S. Senate. There d definitely seems to be um, a predetermined establishment candidate. You just can't put a backpack of millions of dollars on someone and say, here, this vote for this person. Fueling this protest to have the African-American voice heard in this contest is the fact that for the first time in state history, there are no Michigan blacks serving in Congress. Ms. Love contends voters need options. It's important that representation that looks like me is at the table. She and others argue the party expects African Americans to vote for the ticket regardless of who is on it. And she believes the Democratic Party is taking African Americans for granted. I think <clears throat> absolutely. Okay. Um, that has happened. We need to have African Americans need to come out and vote. For what? You've already made the decision for us. Candidate Dr. Pamela Pugh is in the primary. And TV actor Hill Harper is expected to join the fray sometime next month. It is unclear, however, how this racial divide within the Democratic Party will be resolved, if at all. In Lansing, Tim Scooting, Fox 2 News.